that stage is set for the Nosey Academy and the Muay Thai Clinic head to head here. I'm surprised, you know, Danny. You've got Daniel, uh, Daniel from the Muay Thai Clinic and Andy from uh, the Nosey Academy, two very reputable Muay Thai gym fighting K1 rules. You wouldn't have thought this would have been a Muay Thai fight. Well, different fighters, two different styles. And it's yeah, it looks like it's all about the styles with these lads both starting fast. Looks like a K1 fight already, uh, Filipski. Yeah, massively, yeah. But very energetic start from Anthony Kaniki. Oh, he steps up very well and jumps with that left kick. But that tight guard that you need in K1 bounce that Filipski has. Trying to find range at the minute, and the taller opponent is utilising his range well, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Uh, uh, Philip, uh, sorry, Daniel Filipski is struggling with the range. He's, uh, he's missing wildly with shots at the minute. He's struggling with the height and the range of Anthony Kanicki, who, as you say, he's using it really well. The one thing that is working for Filipski at the minute is the hop and right push kick. Wow, lovely left head kick as well. Yeah, he's got skills, this kid, hasn't he? He's very good. He means it with intent when he throws his shots as well. Look at that right hand. He's quite precise in what he throws. Danny, I think someone's getting knocked out before the end of this fight. Well, that's what you expect from K1. Powerful shots, Alex. And he's lived up to it, hasn't it? It has. It's, good, it's good to see some the, really good you K1 the battles. question when they set up. Is it answered already, Alex? It's already been answered. Tries to get... Tries to get a clinch on there to get his shots off. The referee breaks that. Chris Podesta nearly took an overhand right from uh, Filipski then. Now the fighters have stopped jumping all over the place. Wow, to plant big feet. stiff left hand there from Filipski. Anthony Kanicki felt that. Has Kanicki tired a little bit? Has that pace just... He came out the traps extremely fast, didn't he? He did, he did, Danny. We will see. Oh, good left hand on the inside there. He's the heavier puncher of the two, actually, Filipski. He's That's a big puncher. He's and he ended the puncher. round well. He did. There was nothing between that round. Kanicki started really fast, and Filipski finished it in a good fashion, too. I think it was a quite good opening, though, wasn't it, from Filipski? I think the opening to that uh, round was a little bit stronger than the way Filipski finished. But, you know, the commentator's card counts for nothing in this game. I'm excited about this second round, Danny. I think Philip is going to come out real strong here now. Yeah, it's good ingredients for a K1 fight here as well. Kickboxing rules, of course, named after the K1 promotion where they've taken the rule set. But they are two different styles altogether, aren't they? Typical Eastern Bloc fighter with a tight guard, wants to bury the low kicks and heavy, heavy hands. He's got a massive left hook. That's what that's what Kanicki needs to watch for. When Kanicki's missing with the right hand, watch the left hook come back from Filipski. He ducks shots well as well, Filipski, to set his shot up to find that. So there's a big head kick there on the left, but matched with a superb body kick from Kanicki. All the ingredients, Alex. Really exciting fight, Danny. Really exciting fight. Oh, down it, down, down he goes. It's an off balance. Both missing wildly with left hooks there. As, as Filipski closes the range. He's not as accurate, Filipski, though, is he? No. He's, he's a gunslinger. And he's there's, there's gun heavy weight in those shots. But I think Kanik is very accurate in his shots. I'm quite precious about the way gunslinger because I'm a, I'm a massive John Wayne Parr fan and we can't compare these to John Wayne Parr, Danny, I'm sorry. <laughs> Some people just throw the bombs, though, Alex, don't they? Yeah. Philip, listen, I think Filipski lands with one of them big left hooks clean. It could be over. Good right hand from Kanicki as he steps up the pace now. Kanicki's happy to get his head close so he can land those shots accurately. But he does want that counter punch all the time, Filipski. And there is weight in those shots, and if it connects clean, I think it could be night, good night and God bless. I was just going to say, Danny, he needs to go to the body. He could work the body first, and there he goes. Two big shots to the body. He's actually thinking it as well, but... He came up with a good straight. Oh, that was a good, good left kick to the body there. Doubled it up, Alex. 
cracking down to the end of this round here. And see, look at the look on Kanicki's face, he's feeling it at the moment. It's a good fight, it's well matched, isn't it, Alex? Absolutely fantastic fight. Brilliant matchup from Katie Bishover and Christian Knowles, our promoters tonight. Christian, obviously, in Jakarta with Jonathan Haggerty this weekend, which is a great result, not only for the Nolsey Academy and John, but for UK Muay Thai, Danny. Massively, massive scout for the uh, head of this promotion here as well. And he made his name as well on this promotion on the way up, Jonathan Haggerty winning the Raw Combat title. He's still the Raw Combat World Champion to add to now his one championship world title. To beat Sam A. You, you can't put into words. Different levels. Well, we're back here now with the third round of this K1 fight, Danny. Which way do you think this is going to go? Uh, Alex, I genuinely don't know, my friend. I think Kaniki Kine uh, has been more accurate with his shots. Oh, has the chance. I think it's on this round, Danny. Yeah, it's so on this I. round. Felipski. Is, is wild with his shots, and if he catches you, he's got knockout power. But I just think Kaniki's just more accurate. And yeah. Scores cleaner. Yeah, he he's been a lot cleaner with the shot. If it, if it continues like this, Kaniki's got a good chance of getting it, but just with accuracy and the, the cleaner work. But you know, Filipski's in the fight to the end. They're warrior brand fighters, and that's what they do. They fight to the very last whistle. If he was three rounds down, which I'm sure he's not, but if he was, he's one of those fighters that's going to come and just try and take your biscuit tin clean off for that win, isn't he? He certainly is, Danny. There you go with what you were talking about just then. For those who don't know the Cockney slang, the biscuit tin is the chin. <laughs> Neither of these are going to be here. Well, you've got two different attributes of fighters in the ring right now, and you need that in the commentary box as well. My scouts are friend from Liverpool here. Alex Foreman and myself, Cockney Danny Kendrick. It works, doesn't it, Alex? It it's works. working in the ring right now, isn't it? This is a great fight. I, I, I seriously can't separate these boys at the moment. Tiring down, the, the venom's gone out the shots now, and they're just taking away. It's the heart of the termination that's driving them through now, more than the energy, isn't it? You can see they both set for a second, and then they both just go together like an explosion. Look, set, and then the two of them go forward. It's fantastic to watch. Got them tidy now. Just they're really tired now. The fighters they've given it absolutely everything. As a coach, Alex, all you can ask for of a fighter is give me everything, isn't it? Yeah, leave it all in the ring. Don't get out that ring and wish you could have done more because it's over then. Just There's been a couple of shots towards the end of this round, low kicks and punches, which I feel could nick this fight for Kanicki, you know. Yeah, I, I, I could go with that, Alex, but. Warrior Brown fighter, and in K1, you have to come wow, forward all the right time. right hand at the end from Filipski to finish the fight. Do they Stand innovation around the Raw Combat Arena here, Danny. Do well they, deserved. Alex, do they go with the aggressor of the fight or the accurate shooter of the fight? I'm sitting on the fence, Danny. Do you know yep. what? You wouldn't argue with a draw rematch next show. Uh, impartial job, this commentary, uh, Malaki Alex, but... We, 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 we've been in enough fights, Danny, fight to know who's going to go with our Raw Combat League judges, Alex, my friend, and I'm going to back them on this one because I think that's a good fight, really good one.